I have an older brother, it's interesting, he took after my mom's side of the family, so he's very white in complexion. And growing up, it gave us a whole different kind of sibling rivalry. Like, he would always get really jealous because my mustache grew in first. <laughs> Laugh it up, white ladies. <laughs> Laugh it up. I was brought up Muslim. Um, I'm not religious now. I don't cover myself. I choose not to. Although, it is my heritage, so you make exceptions on poker night. <laughs> I get very religious. <laughs> is the Islamic girl bluffing? What cars does she have up the sleeve? of her face. What? <laughs> Cards. It's interesting because the things that used to embarrass me the most growing up are now the things that empower me the most in my act. I grew up in a really white neighborhood and uh, being Pakistani was never seen as the coolest thing in the world. You know, no one brought their Burqa Barbie to school. <laughs> Shahinda played by herself. <laughs> hey Barbie, Ken, why don't you guys come over to my house for recess? I'll make some curry, some samosas. I'll uh, show you my ankles. <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> so I just, I wouldn't tell people where I was from, but you can't really hide that because my dad would pick me up every now and then. Not all the time. I knew the days my dad was coming, not because he told me or I saw his car. The whole school would hear him driving in like the biggest stereotype in the world, windows down on the minivan, blaring the Bollywood top 40. <laughs> Full blast, the whole school would hear. Oh, thank you. Wow, there we go. I had no idea that was such a big hit in Toronto. <laughs> Next on Easy Rock. <laughs> I would hear that song and I would just turn the other way. Just pretend I didn't see him, which would make things worse, right? Because then he thought he needed to be more obvious. I'm your father! Ooh! Ah -ah! <laughs> and now all my little white friends would be like, dude, where is your dad from? I'd be like, my dad. <laughs> He's black. Why does he talk like that then? It's a uh, Jamaican accent. <laughs> Gotta go, Charman. I'll see y'all in English class tomorrow now. Because <laughs> I guess this is how I thought Jamaican people walked. <laughs> it was a very white neighborhood I grew up in. My mom didn't help me much because my mom, she's sweet. She wanted to help me, but she gave bad advice. I would get made fun of. I would come to her for advice. She would tell me, Sabrina, they only make fun of you because they're jealous. Which is a crock of crap. <laughs> but I'm a little kid, right? I believe my mom. I go to school the next day thinking I am Miss Thang, right? I'm waiting for the same girls to make fun of me at the playground, just waiting. And they would come right up to me. Hey, mustache girl! Why don't you play in the monkey bars, you hairy animal? <laughs> now I'm all proud. Looks like somebody's jealous. Whoosh. It's my lasso mustache, sir. <laughs> it was terrible. Some people think they can relate. No one can relate to the mustache I had. It was like, I was 12 years old. It was Tom Selleck's serious business on my face. And it wasn't a gradual mustache that I could start preparing for. It was like, I went to bed, ma'am. Cute little brown girl, adorable. Overnight, somewhere between midnight and one o'clock. <laughs> I woke up like a fully developed midget man. <laughs> and you've got to get rid of a mustache. No one trusts a girl with a mustache. You can't get a job. You can get like one job, the before picture model chick. <laughs> I would have been good at it, but. I got rid of my mustache with electrolysis, which was super painful, and I had like the meanest lady ever doing my electrolysis. She was this old Russian lady, and she acted like it was my fault when the hairs grew back. Like I ran home after appointments and watered my upper lip with Pakistan juice. <laughs> 
She just stand at the doorway as I was walking in, in front of people on the street, just yelling, What's wrong with you? You're like Harry, Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs>